Hello teacher, today our group will talk about the topic of choosing what to wear every day. We have three groups including members Gia Huệ, Xuân Mai, Nguyễn Quân Quỳnh, Ý Phi, Bảo Ngân, Ngọc Ngân, Ánh Liên, Hèm Mì. Content includes the following choose laws based on the formality. Choose laws based on the lexability. Choose laws based on the style. And this that make choosing laws more convenient. Next list in my ways. The first solution is to choose clothes based on the formality. Ask yourself how formal should I be? The context is when we are going to participate in the was in the corporate where it is smart culture or business from a, a tire on various work day, some exploitations a teacher has uniform. All the workers are allowed to work cultural clothing to work with women. When making idol, you should choose a simple outfit and don't choose clothing that are too personal and out of the ordinary. You can go for clothes that are neutral in color. When making friends, you compatible at two clothes. When meeting your partner, you choose to distress and need clothes to choose to wear cultural or formal clothes. Next, my The second criteria that you can take into consideration when choosing clothes is flexibility. In this part, I want to mention three elements that can be useful for you when choosing clothes. The first one is weather and temperature. So, and not to be affected by the external environment, we need to consider if the clothes can help us deal with the weather. Hot and humid, lighter clothes are a good choice. But on a busy day, you want to wear multi layers or thick clothes to protect you from the cold temperature. And if it's the rainy season, you better bring a raincoat in advance or wear water resistant clothes that don't accept the rain and make you feel cold. The second one is climate. It's a kind of similar to the first one, but in more detail. So, about the climate, let's take Vietnam for example. We all know that. The climate in the South Vietnam, especially in Ho Chi Minh City, is usually hot and there are only two seasons, sunny and rainy. Central and not often have for distinct seasons with four characteristics, where the climate is not the same. Therefore, choosing suitable clothes for each season and region is extremely important. One of the key factors when choosing clothes that many people often ignore is the fabric. You should choose the fabric style that have you adjust to the weather variations and change it in climate. This on cold days and cool not on hot days. To give an instant, cotton is especially popular as it's soft, readable, durable and insulation. We change it in color and wage. Cotton can transition through every climate. The last element is choosing what to wear beyond the purpose or activity. Now, let me explain more about this. If you stay at home, you can wear anything that makes you feel comfy. If you're going to go outside, for example, an important event like meeting with your clients, you should wear something formal and appropriate which make you have you make a good impression on your clients. But if you're on an appointment with your friends, you can dress however you want, as long as it makes you feel beautiful and comfortable. You can dress in tile or just wear jeans with a t-shirt. If you're going to have outdoor activities, you should choose sportwear or elastic clothes. With in short, remember to buy clothes for every weather condition. 
for specific activities or just basic clothes to fit every season and occasion. Now, Hon will be in charge of the next part. Right now, I would like to read some part three of our group presentation. The third outlook that I want to show you is choosing clothes depends on your style. We have listed three ideas for this. Those are choose not to overlap your outfits. You can miss the basics of clothing in different styles. You can add accessories to make your outfits more attractive. Women often wear different types of jewelry. Meanwhile, men usually choose between watches and wallets to express their style. Personal style. Clothing that shoots your body shape will enhance your figure. On the contrary, in appropriate clothes will make you look early, too thin or too fat, too short or too tall. Coordinating according to personal references. Reference in brain. The clothes we wear may show part of our personality or status. For for some people, clothes are a tool for expression of their financial state. Therefore, these people prefer wearing trendy or brand name outfits that make them look fashionable and wealthy. On the other hand, there are people who don't really care about brands. They make up for clothes that are affordable instead of expensive ones. Choose clothes that fit our style, make you confident, make us feel more confident when we express ourselves in our own style, not constrained by anything like social opinions, not only confidence in communication and work, you can get new inspiration to rest every day. We will continue to you. I, I will talk about part four is tip that make choosing clothes more convenient. I think there are four most convenient steps to sell time when choosing clothes. Uh, first, uh, choose to buy clothes of the same style when there is a um, there is a need, or you will get them um, immediately without hesitation. With um, when choosing, secondly, choose clothes that have many functions, such as blazer, jeans, t-shirt, jacket, and so on, suitable for many occasions and styles. And the third step is to start the item in the clothes into different compartments. For example, business attire, uniforms, outing, and party should be arranged uh, in compartments until needed with the wasting stamp. But now you will talk about the next part. Hello, everyone. I am Bao Ngang, and I would love to continue uh, the, the tips of our group in choosing how to make clothes how to make choosing clothes more convenient. Besides organizing clothes by function, we can also organize them by categories. We can put old clothes uh, separate from new ones. With this kind of separating, you can easily sell, liquidate, donate, or throw away the old clothes without having to worry about the new ones. Another thing is to hang our favorite outfits in the most accessible places in the closet where we can see them first when we open them. We can also keep rarely used or seasonal items in boxes above the closet or under the bed to separate them from the more frequently used ones. And we can place clothes of the same color and style next to each other to make finding them much easier. Another step is to prepare in advance. We should prepare the outfit a few days or even a week ahead so it doesn't take time. 
uh, we can plan to wear using the clothes that are available at that time. For example, we can find clean, dry, and ready to be worn clothes and discover it. We can also hang out clothes and place our accessories or footwear in the same order that they will be used so we can keep track of them more easily. We should try on different outfits to see which pieces can go together when we buy them. So when we have them at home, we don't have to test them out again, especially when we're in a hurry. And now I'd like to summarize a little bit about our group strategies in choosing the clothes uh, on a daily basis. If we want to choose them based on the formality, we should ask ourselves the questions, how formal should I be? If we want to choose based on flexibility, the question would be, how flexible should I be? If we focus on the style, we can ask ourselves, how should I express myself? And uh, additionally, we also added some bonus tips in choosing clothes and making it a more comfortable and enjoyable experience. Choosing what to wear on a daily basis can be really troublesome at times. We have all been there. So we really hope that with these strategies and tips, you can, what, you can apply them to your daily tasks and find out more joy in choosing the clothes to wear every day. And that is the end of our presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.